So we talk a lot here at McKinsey about the importance of having a customer uh, insight strategy in place uh, for your business. So what does that mean at the gate? One, that means creating a, um, a two-way conversation with your uh, customers and prospects. It means uh, engaging with them authentically, um, taking their feedback and bringing that into your business uh, in order to make uh, business decisions, uh, changes, um, and things going forward. So uh, we're going to be getting into our next series here of the uh, five or six touch points that we believe that every business should have. Uh, but before we get into that, I wanted to share just a couple simple tips out the gate. Uh, if you're starting out with a customer insights uh, strategy and putting in place, or if you have something in uh, place right now of maybe um, enhancing it that you have. So first thing out the gate, uh, branding. Uh, I know this might sound simple, but I find or we find that so many companies out there spend so much time, money, and effort um, in their sales and marketing efforts to get their customers in, beautifully branded everything, and then at which point turn around um, and send out surveys or touch points uh, from the research department that is not branded and not consistent with your voice and message. So make sure uh, something that we always do is we always ask for um, your brand book or guidelines to make sure that it's a consistent look and feel across the board because it's important to remember that it's the same customer uh, that you brought in just because it's a different department um, internally still same customer and they want that cohesive look and feel um, which leads to the second point of uh, speaking to them um, in your language so you want to make sure that you are uh, not having a robotic kind of uh, communication with your customers you want to make sure that the intro that you send the questions that are written how you're talking to them it'd be like if you're talking to them in person so uh, we always say read the questions out loud make sure that it sounds like a human being talking to another human being because quite honestly that's what you're doing here so make sure that it's got your voice um, and energy that you want uh, to come off because this is a touch point um, and a marketing piece that comes in there of having your branding there um, the third piece uh, to dig into, and again, I know this sounds really simple, but make sure that there's a plan to capture and store the information that you have. A lot of times we find uh, that projects will be done in silos, the information comes in and then it's just housed and stored in an Excel spreadsheet or just in the database that you've collected the information in. So we want to make sure, especially when we're focused on um, surveys and touch points with our customers, um, that then all the information comes in and gets tagged into your CRM or your system, uh, your database, because this information can be used going forward, right? We can be using it in our automation, uh, we can be using it for targeted type of things. So make sure that we have a plan to bring this in um, and connect the information over time. We could be doing tracking, those types of things. Um, which leads to kind of my next point here of every response response matters. So I know a lot of times we're focused on what's the response rate, how are we going to get that up, what are the overall aggregate responses, which is really important. But we need to remember if we're looking at this through a lens of customer experience and connecting with our customers and creating this relationship with them, every response matters. Um, so make sure that we're taking the time to re respect and understand that this is somebody, your customer that you fought so hard for, uh, that's responding back to you that you want to be able to um, uh, you know, appreciate and honor them of who they are and what they're getting back to you. Which leads to my la last point, of this is a marathon, uh, not a sprint. You know, if you um, have not been communicating and having this kind of two-way conversation with your customers and prospects, you might have low response rates in the beginning. Because quite honestly, you haven't given them, uh, show them the value of giving you responses. How many of us have taken surveys that then go off into the ethers and we never hear from them again? That quite honestly is creating um, an environment that leads people to believe if they respond, then nothing's going to happen because of it. So you want to be the ones, you want to be the company that listens, that takes the feedback, that responds back to them and builds that trust over time so that then they start coming into that community. So I am so excited to be able to uh, share tips and share um, opportunities to touch base because I really believe in this time that we're in right now, your customers, your prospects, people in general want their voices to be heard. And if you can be connecting with them in an authentic way to grow and build your business and the products that you're doing, those are the companies that are going to be succeeding out there. So 
Um, let's make sure that we're putting fantastic surveys out there, uh, respecting the people that are taking them at the end, um, and making changes because of their feedback. So um, look forward to sharing some more insights uh, with you coming forward, and would love to hear what you guys are doing and any tips that you have.